In this video, we're going to be talking about routing in Laravel. And routing is the concept of going to your URL and then typing in a route such as hello, and it will print out a, the route for your application for that specific URL. And as you can see, we have an error in front of us because we do not have this route in our application. So if we open up our app in our favorite text editor and we go to the application HTTP folder and inside of there is routes.php. This is the file that we briefly talked about in the last video. And as you can see inside of this file, we have a route here that's called route get and it has forward slash and forward slash is essentially the home page of our URL. And what this is doing is this is going to the view of welcome. So it's returning a view called welcome, but we're just going to replace that and just echo something out to the screen. So if we echo that out and go back to our localhost 8000, surely enough, we get that message on our screen. So let's go back and add this hello route that we were not able to get to before. So we could simply say route get hello. And then inside here, we could echo out hello there. So if we save that and go back to localhost 8000 slash hello, then we get that hello there message. Now let's say that we wanted to say hello slash Tony and we wanted to pass a URL parameter. Well, we could go back to that route and just add in a parameter here and a parameter here. And now we could use this dollar sign name inside of our route. So I could say hello there and then print out the name. So if I save that and we go back to this route, then sure enough, we get hello there and the person's name. So this is what is referred to as route parameters. So let's discuss the multiple types of routes that you can use in your application. So here by default, we're using this uh, get route. And this is the typical route that you will use whenever somebody types in a URL in the browser. This is the route that will be shown on the screen. But there are multiple other routes that we can use, such as we have route post, and we have route get, which is the typical one that we've been using, route put, and route delete. And if you're familiar with CRUD, CRUD is a create, read, update, and delete. This is typically what we're doing here. So if we go to this post route, we are saying that we want to create an item. If we are here at this get route, we're saying that we want to read an item. And here at the put route, we're saying we want to update an item. And then here on the delete route, sure enough, we want to delete an item. So let's see how this, this get parameter, we've already used this before. So I'm just going to say route get test. And then inside of this function, I'm just going to echo out get. So for each of these routes, I'm just going to simply echo out what the what the, what the post is. So inside of here, I will say that we have hit the post route. And inside of here, we have hit the put route. And then finally, here we have hit the delete route. So if we save this and we go back to our localhost 8000 and we type in test, then we should be here at the get route. Because whenever you put in a URL in the browser, and you make a request, then by default, this is just considered the get request. So let's say that we wanted to hit the post route. We would actually need to create a form, a form that posts, and then we will end up on that post route. So let's do that inside of this route get. Let's add a new form. And the action, the URL that we wanted to post to is simply the test route. So as you can see, the test we've hit here from the get and the test from the post. So then let's just create a simple submit button. And then let's close the form. So if we save that and we go back here, then we have the submit button. We can click on the submit button and simple enough, it will take us to that post route. So this is great because now if we have a form inside of our application, we can then, once it's clicked, we can then post it to a specific route. And we know that we can get to that route by specifying that it is a post route. 
So let's say that we wanted to get to this put and delete route right here. Well, browsers only know about get and post, and that's actually all that they know about. So what we would need to do is we would need to, inside of our form, add a hidden input. So we would say type equals hidden, and the name is actually going to be underscore method. So we're saying that the method that we want to use for this specific post is the, the put route. So let's save that. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's go back to our get route and click on the submit. And sure enough, we are now at the put route. And lastly, let's do the same thing for the delete. and click on the submit, then sure enough, we are now at the delete route. And so you can see just how amazing and how easy it is to do routing in Laravel. And another thing that I wanted to point out up here when we were doing this uh, get parameter, if we had hello slash name, let's say that we had hello slash and we had the number one, what we could do in this case is look up, say, a user with an ID of one and then get their name and print that out. So that is all that we wanted to go over in this video. Uh, it's very simple to do routing. You just open up your routes.php file and start putting in some routes. There's also one more route at the very bottom, which is called route group middleware web. And this is typically where you're gonna put all of your web routes. And we will go into middleware and the specific web middleware in a future video. But that's it for this video. So we will see you in the next one.